Hi everybody, I'm Alexis and I help growth-oriented people grow into the fullest version of themselves. I do upload three times a week. I talk about business, personal growth, and risk-taking, so if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. Today I'm talking about how you can use the most uncreative thing ever, checklists, to actually make your high leverage tasks more creative. I talk about how you can use templates and long-standing checklists to get little things done quicker and how you can really use them to effectively get high leverage tasks done. So by the end of this video, I think you'll have examples and you'll have some more knowledge to create your own flows and templates for yourself. So if that sounds interesting to you, Let's go get stuff done. So the first time I started doing this was actually when I was severely depressed. I like couldn't get out of bed every day and I had literally forgotten things that made me happy. I had always made checklists that kind of lived and died in one day, but this was the first time that I actually made a long-standing checklist. And the checklist that I made was Happy Point. I just opened my notes app and I made a list of things that made me happy and I assigned point values to them. And then I told myself that I had to get to a certain point value every day because I just didn't know how to be happy at that point in time. And that was kind of the first step toward me actually getting happier. So the method of creating checklists can be used to reach really basic things to just get you out of bed in the morning, but then they can also be used, what I've started using them more for, is to actually really utilize them for high leverage tasks that actually move the needle and are helping me achieve long-term goals. And I call those types of checklists flows and I really use those to incorporate my long-term vision. The thing about flows of those high leverage tasks is that flows provide the constraints for creativity to live in. I remember reading one time that people are actually less creative if you give them no constraints. Like if you just tell them to create art and you give them no constraints, no rubric, they're actually less creative than if you had given them some structure to live in. So I think that these flows, workflows, whatever you want to call them, are really a good constraint for creativity to live in and they've really helped bolster my creativity. So I'll start with the ugh, kind of checklist first and then in the second part of the video I'll move on to the flow kind of checklist. So some of the more lower level long-standing checklists that I've made are birthdays. Birthday, like if I make a list of people's birthdays, that's a long-standing checklist. Packing list, so then every time I go somewhere I take a look at that packing list. That's another long-standing checklist. One that I do is gift ideas. So anytime I'm with someone who I'm going to end up getting them a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, I'll pay attention to things that they like and things that they mention. Or just if I have kind of like a spark of inspiration throughout the year of something that I want to get them, I'll just add it to the list. So then when Christmas rolls around or their birthday rolls around, I already have the list there and then I don't have to think about about it and boom, just purchase it. And then I also make a list of book ideas and kind of bucket list ideas. So those are kind of my my lower level things. Those are my long-standing lower level checklists. So now let's get into my like higher leverage checklist that I actually use as templates for creativity. Probably the most, the most notable one that I've made in the last couple weeks is my video creation checklist. So anytime I'm creating a video, I go through this entire checklist. And the thing that makes this a little bit more of a creative checklist is that it really includes vision points. So I include language in there like, there's a checklist point, like make sure that one point is empowering, make sure that you use emotion. In my case, I've gone through actually the cognitive functions and I've gone through um, like I want one part to be NI, one part to be TE, and I kind of go through it that way. And then I want the whole thing to have an SE flavor, and that's kind of how I've made my videos. So I have a whole vision. You can see the transformation of the viewer before and after. So I've included things like set up the lights, plug in the USB. I mean, I've literally included everything that I have to do, everything that goes into video creation, and it's broken into two days. I've got the planning day, and then I've got the filming day. And so I have broken it into several parts, and I've got all the tiny details in there as well. But what makes it a little bit more high leverage is that it also has those creative elements in there as well. Things that are kind of intangible, and they're not really an action that I take, but it is a tone of voice that I have, or something that I I can somewhat do. So I think if you create anything, if you have any sort of workflow, like end of the day at work, or if you're creating a lesson plan, or if you're creating a sermon, basically if you're creating anything, I think this would be a great template to have. Or if you just have any sort of workflow through the day, you know, make sure that you include the things that you have to get done, but then also make sure that you include the things that you want to get done. Okay, so let's talk about how I set this up and how I went about actually crafting this thing. So I have used, I've used Google's checklist, I've used, used the notes app, I've used Evernote, I just heard about Notion, which I think I'm going to start using, that seems really effective. I've heard of people using Trello, do, do any of you guys use Trello? Does Trello just not make things more complicated? I really think, I, I never have seen like why you would want to do doing done. That seems, I don't know, I, I don't want doing, I don't want to move into the doing category. Anyways, moving on. So once you've picked the format that you want it to be and then go ahead and include in everything that has to get done, like plug in the lights, get out the microphone, all the useless stuff like that. And then the second element is to include your philosophical vision, include things that you really want to get done. And if it was the perfect lesson plan or if it was the perfect video, what elements would it have? And then go ahead and include that in the checklist. So then every time you create a video, what I do is I just kind of make a copy of the template and because I'm using Google Docs, I make a copy of the template and then I just type right on it with the content that I want and I make sure that it has all the elements. I've also included on the checklist a spot that says edit as you go because you need to make sure that it's actually serving you and there might become points where it's redundant or parts where you've forgotten things. So you just want to make sure that you've included everything. And then with that a allows for is that if you then learn anything new, you can make it you can make it actionable and you can add it to the checklist. So now anytime I'm reading books or I'm watching a YouTuber and they give tips about how to be a better YouTuber, if I feel like it's something I want to incorporate, I will add that to my checklist. And so now 
it's instead of information overload, I'm then able to actually take that information and make it actionable and use it. So you'll know it's a good checklist when it has every single step that you need to do. No opportunity for pausing, no wondering what to do next. It's got every single thing incorporated. And then you also know it's a good checklist when it has, you know, your philosophy, your flavor, and your vision incorporated within it. So I think these long-standing checklists are a great way to get the dumb things done quicker and the high leverage things done done like actually do the high leverage things thanks so much for watching if you feel inspired go make some checklists and give this a like um i am wanting to interview people so go ahead and send me an instagram dm and we'll make it happen i really want to get to know you and your pain points so thanks for watching guys bye